This is Scott Davis Balloon Art Demo Number 9, The Cartoon Duck. Start off with a white 260 balloon, blow it up to where it leaves a 4 or 5 inch tail. We're going to do a caricature design, which means everything crosses over between two ears. I'll show you. One ear, do a longer bubble for the width of the head, and then the other ear. Now we're going to make a set of two bubbles and cross over back to the first ear. That will be uh, either your eyes or your neck. We don't know yet. Now do two more bubbles and go back to the second ear. Once again, it's either your eyes or your neck, depends on which way you flip it over. Now once we've done that, we're going to start to create the upper part of the duck's head. So it's going to be a string of two sections, probably a couple inches in length, and go back down to the other ear. So it goes up and down. Now we're going to make it double thick by repeating the process. One bubble, we cross over the top, sort of like to make an X. So we go up over the top like that. And now go right back down to the first tier. Now we have a double thick head with a cross at the top. That's what holds it together. We get rid of the rest of the balloon. Now we've completed the first part of the duck's head. So one of those sets of two bubbles will be right underneath the top of the head to create the eyeballs. The other ones in the back there, they will be the neck. Now we take an orange balloon. This is going to be the duck's beak. We start off at one ear, just tie, tie the knot around. You don't even have to tie off the balloon, really, because if you circle it around the ear, it'll hold just fine. Now we do a string of five bubbles. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you don't want to over twist it because you're going to end up untwisting these bubbles. So you, so you don't want to twist a whole lot. Just a couple times each one. Go from ear to ear. Now we're going to take two longer sections of bubble, two longer sections to create the mouth of the duck, the lower part of the mouth. Once again, we go back. See how everything just goes from ear to ear, to ear to ear to ear to ear. Okay, now we get rid of the rest of the orange balloon. Okay. Now we're just going to leave it. We don't want to untwist those bubbles till the very end of the creation. Otherwise, it'll distort the way the beak goes uh, when you're messing around trying to make the rest of it. So we'll save it till the very end. Okay, there's the neck. I'm holding my finger between those two bubbles, which create the neck. Now inflate another white 260 and leave about a 3-inch tail. We crimp the end of the balloon just by twisting the outside. You can look at my lessons to see how to bend the balloon. Then we do an ear twist. And then we attach that ear twist up into that neck design. Just drive the ear twist up into that little neck piece there. That'll hold it in place. And it'll hold it in place very strong. See how it pokes through there? It locks itself right onto those neck, those two bubbles that create the neck. Now we do a large fold twist for the body. Twist it around just a couple times, and then take the rest of the balloon and crimp it the same way you did the first part. And now you have the duck's second arm. Now make it about even length, tear off the rest, and tie it off. You can use scissors, you can use a needle, you can use anything you like. Okay, now we have the duck's head with, uh, the un with the twisted up beak and the two arms. Now we grab an orange balloon and we're going to make the duck's legs. Now to do a duck's legs, duck's feet, you could do a series of bubbles. You could do this any way you want to make a foot. If you want to do a series of bubbles to make more of a wed foot, that's fine. I prefer just to do a fold twist foot because I don't want to overpower the design. Now. Once I, I poke it through, now I have a fold twist and the end of the balloon, and then when I poke it through, I make another fold twist. And then I ear twist the rest of the balloon there, make a little bubble after the ear twist, and cross it back over to the first foot. And that pulls his feet together. Watch. One little bubble. And you go back to the first foot, wrap it around, and now it goes right to the duck's body so you have a short, fat body design. And you can either have them standing or you can rotate the feet forward and have them sitting. It's a really nice body to use on a character like that. Now let's go back to that beak. Let's untwist each balloon. Just do it very gently, very slowly. 
Now you don't want to do it too quickly because you can end up with a chain reaction error and not get the shape you want. And the last one always takes a lot of twisting because you have accumulated untwisting all the way across. So the last one's going to take a little bit of effort there. But it will come out. And once you do that, you have a nice, thin, pliable section of balloon. Now look how I squeeze it in and twist it upwards. That creates a nice little duck bill. And this is why you want to do it at the end because otherwise you'll lose that point when you're messing around trying to make the rest of the character. So save it to the very end before you do that. Now, those two eyes at the top, they're sunk low on his head to almost where you can barely see him, which is exactly what you want. You want the duck to have low set eyeballs. And believe me, after you draw on them, they'll be plenty visible. Here we got the cartoon duck. And I really like this one. It's a very popular design. 